What if you were to measure the smallest space between two objects? Wouldn't that suggest that the objects are never quite touching? That space can be infinitely divided? In the world of endless possibilities, science is our best tool to measure the unknown. This is the journey of one man's dedication to go beyond the boundaries of vision. For half a millennia, cutting-edge scientists have built increasingly better microscopes to be able to see the unseen, particles too small for the naked eye. Over the centuries, improvements in materials and methods have made resolution better and better. Alas, by the end of the 19th century, a German physicist, Ernst Abbe, formulated the absolute limit a resolution that microscopes can never exceed. This seemed to be the end of the road until Stefan Hell made a major breakthrough with the Stimulated Emission Depletion Microscope, otherwise known as STED. In 1993, Hell came to the University of Turku, Finland, with the ambitious idea of going beyond the diffraction limit. In March of the next year, an article was published in which he stated, we propose a new type of scanning fluorescence microscope capable of resolving 35 nanometers in the far field. Professor Pekka Hanninen, head of the biophysics laboratory and an expert in this field, recalls perfectly the time he assisted Stefan Hell on his venture to penetrate the diffraction limit. Back in 1994, I was doing my PhD thesis. We were trying to uh, solve practical problems, real problems associated with, uh, with, uh, with the increasing of the resolution. We wanted to make a difference. Stead takes the old and trusty fluorescence techniques and brings them to another level. Using an additional laser, Stead alters the fluorescence capabilities of the area around the center of the excited laser beam. In doing so, it constrains the detectable fluorescence to a small area and as a result improves the resolution substantially. It fundamentally differs from the other types of light microscope that existed until then by the fact that it um, uh, produced the resolution, the high spatial resolution, not just by the phenomenon of focusing light as is the case usually in normal light microscopes, but by uh, changing the molecular states. That still is actually the, the basic premise of all the super-resolution microscopes that are in existence today. By thinking out of the box to cunningly circumvent the diffraction limit and in order to take light microscopy into the nano world, Stefan Hell was awarded with a Nobel Prize. However, science never sleeps, and so the question remains, can the boundary be pushed even further? I'm currently working on tomographic stead microscopy. So that's the technique we have developed two years ago, and then it produces a better actual resolution. And uh, we are now applying uh, that technique onto bone biology to get uh, more detailed information in actual direction. Next step of the STED microscopy is to be uh, applied for uh, in vivo imaging. And uh, uh, that's a field where uh, fast and uh, uh, non-labeling and also deep imaging are required. In science, everyone is equal. Even the greatest obstacles can be overcome with just the power of one's mind. Are you the next to go beyond the limits?